Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved campaign. It is uh, part 1 of point 5, Act 1, Chapter 5 on the trail. Complete mission in 15 or less turns. There have been reports that Ukon has been frequenting a warehouse in a packaging district. Search the site for clues. Gabe and uh, Mikala are required, but we can also get a few more characters in. Apparently this is one of the main missions. I was wondering, uh, the game offered us optional missions, didn't it? Or am I just misunderstanding that? Here we can reset the progress. No, we don't want to do that. Where are the optional missions? And even more important, why does it say missions if we actually have one mission? So apparently that's the only thing that we can do. We got Mikala here. I liked uh, Tank Allison quite a lot. Uh, the heavy class so far is one of my favorite ones, but I want to showcase a bit more of the variety. So we're going in with a scout. I want to see if uh, that granite build that I was thinking of might be any good. Mikala, in the meantime, can be our DPS. I think everybody is equipped, so it is time to deploy. Of course, Jack, our beloved drone, will also accompany us. And off we go into the deep. Okay, mammoth's fixed, so deal's a deal. Let's take a little trip to the packing district. Place is always swarmed with Ukon's goons. You wanna see what he's up to? That's the first place to look. Okay, time to start that mission. The warehouse up ahead. I saw Ukon lurking there about a week ago. Up to some kind of bullshit. Let's knock on his door then. And me without a housewarming gift. <laughs> Sid has certainly the coolest of all lines. Like he's a smart, uh, smarty pants. Okay, so what are we going to do? A um, couple of things. Number one, I think we can start looking out for those crates. If I'm not mistaken, they were the ones that give us all of the loot. So far, none there. There is one over here. One over here, and one over here. All right, so three out of three, right? Right game? Okay. And is it 15 turns into the circle or doing the entire mission? I think that's the next big question. Anyways, luckily we brought, uh, brought our scout with us who now has run. And I was to take a wild guess. No problem. This year. Plus good old running. Plus this year. Locus spotted. Weapons free. Will at least give us a good um, start. Those uh, guys are definitely a problem, so we better take them out fast. Copy. Jack is moving up. Yep. Pierce is moving up. Yep. Good. And can we? Take a sniper overwatch. Something along the lines of this here. So that sure the thing. most frontline enemy will at least not here rush to come. our scout. You're too goddamn dumb to live. Well, so much for that. So you've seen Ukon. You ever gotten close to him? If I had, he'd be missing his head right now. I promise you that. 
Okay, so Sid, how about removing Welcome. you here into full cover? Sounds like a good idea. Then Oh boy, that is a good grenade. Throwing a grenade! <laughs> Back in your Holy home. macaronis. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Gabe is moving up. Yeah. Got it. And we're moving a bit closer. This here would be a, hopefully a kill and a reload at the same time. Very good. Action economy together with the fast fingers ability immediately reload. Good, we're scouting ahead with uh, Jack. Got that rare case, so far so good. We know that there is another one just in here and another one over there. But apparently, well, we could move our way through that building. I'm ready. Not sure if that's the best idea though. Just so that we're not being ambushed from behind. Standing by. Let's plant a couple of mines. On the move. On Overwatch. All right. So far, so good. And Jack is just going to go invisible for Later, now. Jack. They're making a move. Haven't seen any other enemy until now, of course. Ready to engage. Yep. So if we were to throw that here. On the move. Uh. Next turn we can get the other crate. It's almost too easy. Frag it out. seems as if they would be taunting us nice one. to use our grenades. Not sure. Right. Standing by. Damn! Got a wrecked van in the way. Take out these locusts so we can move it. Take out which locusts? All these. We take high ground. Doesn't seem to be a big topic in this game. You cannot really take high ground. Apparently, that's just not Here I go. often available. Without that one mission where we had the tower. High ground just doesn't seem to be a big thing sure here. Sure thing. Okay. He's just making sure that no one on this side <laughs> is getting in trouble. All right, one time checked up. I owe you one, Jack. We're going to go invisible. Stay out of trouble, Jack. We're covered here. Yep. Covering. And let's take the small pistol and cover this here. Well, so far so good. Here we go! I've been looking forward to this. On my way. Good, we got the second crate. Supplies for the effort. But apparently there is also some more locusts over here. I'm listening. And that's an interesting position. 54% chance to hit him. <laughs> you know what? Let's just give our sniper a chance to shine. Thanks, Jack. 
which is triple buffing because I don't think that uh, Jack will be shot this turn. And all of a sudden we're at a 70% chance to hit plus quite substantial damage. Alright, come on. 48, that's good. I like it. What's the pistol chance? 15, no. We're taking a sniper shot here. Out of ammo. Okay, well. Gotta reload Scout next turn. In. Solid copy. We could cloak. Now then. Make it a bit easier. Watch. We cloak now it wouldn't be the worst idea because then this guy couldn't move here and try to flank us. So let's just cloak. Be invisible idea. for now. Reloading here. We're reloading with a sniper. Gabe offers a bit of a damage bonus. I should have given the damage bonus at the beginning of the Mine. turn. That way the two hits would have already been killed. Drop one. Very good. Drop incoming. Now it's our turn. Okay, what are we dealing with? 50-50. Not really what I was hoping for. Ready. Throwing Let's get him out of cover. There we go. Support our sniper again and then hide. Sniper Later, is Jack. taking that shot, and we are going to use it to reload. There we go, automatically reloaded. Fantastic. Awaiting orders. On standby. Does this here kill them? Well, it should be good. Let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> right up the gut. Got him. All right, plus one action. We're looking at three actions. On my way. Oh yeah. Well, the one thing that this game does differently than XCOM is if you're on the other side of the cover, there ain't no cover. All right, they're down. Give that van a push so we can get moving. We're planting another mine. Because I learned orders. that mines are pretty damn good. <laughs> yep. All right, four turns. Here we go. Three turns to move up. I still want that extra loot right there. We're covered here. It's 
sniper moves up and Jack also moves up so if there is someone coming from this side we should have it covered Affirmative. I'm ready for this Uh, that didn't work. How? Oh, I see. Awaiting orders. We're going to do that by effectively moving here. On it. Okay. Wonderful. The well, small scout was right the now. one that on. effectively. Pushed it, whilst everybody else was just waiting. Defeat the enemy guards. Are we talking about uh, Berserkers here? Yeah, Berserk, Berserk, and a couple of pretty hardcore enemies. Here I go. Good, we're moving up. And I think it's a fair option. Start using this uh, zone. Just in case we're in a firefight. Keep it up, Jack. Ready. En route. Good. Super heavy de uh, defense. Those guys, however, are no joke. What, 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 what? Snipers! Oh no! Can pin your unit. Got a sniper in play. Take him out fast, or he'll pin us down. Okay, where is that sniper? I think it's him, right? Time to play exterminator. Damn it, it would be helpful to effectively see all of uh, the enemies. So what are we dealing with? These are two berserkers. Drone, drone, drone. And two snipers. Okay, these guys are the problem. Well, our scout is going to take care of the snipers. Copy. Uh-huh. Do we have... Yes, we do. We do have grenades, respectively mines. Acknowledge. So we can oh. combine this here Got the goods. with planting a mine so that the berserks are running into the mines. Look at that, there is some high ground up here. Ooh, that that would be absolutely fantastic. Problem is, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to do that next turn. I don't see Ukon, but I do see his emulsion stockpile. If we can't kill him, might as well annoy him. Plan a charge on those fuel tanks. Good. Moving up. What's our chance of hitting these guys? 50%? Oh, they're still pretty far away. Okay. Confirming the upgrade. The assist, Jack. Upgrade even further because they can't reach us. Not this turn. Not sure if the sniper can, but unlikely, I would uh -huh. say. Can't plant the mine yet. But I would move over here so that we're not completely 
nailed down. Instead, I this here is going to be our overwatch. Now then. All right, let's do this. Confirming to handing over one more to our sniper because she's uh, the main actor in this we're case. Here. And we're looking at 70% chance to hit. 20% crit chance. I know that the, uh, the overwatch shots cannot crit. So the question is, do we want 100% hit chance? Well, or a higher hit chance and trade in our crit chance? It's a difficult question, really. How would an overwatch even look like? Something along the lines. Okay, let's do a combination. That's a nice little hit right there. Berserk is starting to Berserk. Uh, but we do have two additional shots. And I'm more than willing to take those. Okay, let's wait for the Berserks. And see what they got. Very nice. That was the interrupt I was hoping for. Fantastic. That second Berserk has taken quite a bit of damage. Oh, I'm ready. I don't play. Good. If we could put the sniper up here, they would definitely be able to hit all of the enemy snipers. First and foremost, I'm ready. It's not good enough of a hit. But we're team working. Jack here does a fresh reload. Because that effectively transfers one action unit to the sniper. And also reloads our support. And then let's continue with letting our sniper shine, really. Ideas. 85%, 70%. Let's start with the 85%. You know what? Let's actually start with this here because the worst thing that could happen is we're hitting the guy in front. Eight hit points. That is unfortunate. Gonna need some ammo. I've got nothing. Okay, no kills. Uh, that's okay yeah. for now. Taking position. We can hide for one turn. So this here is not a Hail Mary play. Quite the opposite. I mean, could almost take these guys out. But let's not take any chances, shall we? We can go up here next turn and still take them out. For now, time to hide. Okay, now. Go ahead. He can't fully Heading reach out. us. And I think we're more or less safe here. Keep and watch. Specifically with our overwatch. This guy here is even further away. So the real question is, should we double down on that end? Or should I try to hit here? No, I think we're doubling down. On it. 
Okay, so the moment that this uh, uh, that this uh, hammerhead here is going to move, we're potentially going to kill him. Oh, no, he's almost done. That's great positioning. Let's see how they like this. Awaiting orders. Hundred percent, eighty percent. Okay. Well, guess what? Can you sprint over here? No, you can't. Can you just move over here? Yes, you can. Moving. Fantastic. Moving in. And that's a nice little shot. Did we just one shot him? I think we just one shot him. 60% crit chance. Okay, now I know what, what, uh, why that is. Almost oh, out. that is fantastic. Yeah. Gosh, I love our uh, scout. That is a great class. I'm reloading. Time to hit the next one. Double down. Affirmative. Advancing. Good. Moving over. Let's advance. Objective in visual range. Yes, he has seventy percent chance to hit. Missed the target. Missed, unfortunately. Can't you should have used the pistol because that's just a very safe way of hitting. Open for business. Reloading. And time to keep watch. it watch. Go ahead. Shall we kill this guy? No, nah, potentially not. Let's just Moving reposition down. because that way we <laughs> do have more agency. And we're also repositioning Jack. Okay, so far we're doing well. I'm surprised uh, how much damage we took here. Been doing this a long time. Of course, on the other hand, the sniper here of course <laughs> be a problem. Gotta get this show rolling. On standby. On my way. Moving up. Time's up, Timbers. Ready. Kill. It's an extra bird. action point. I like it. Yes. Again, moving up. For another action point. Aggressive moving forward. Well played. And let's get some more action points. Too goddamn easy. Good. Oh boy, six down. action points. Roger that. Five to move over here. 
two further action points to move over here. Things were clear. <laughs> you fascist, fight. It's just a single shotgun Thanks. shot, and this guy was down. School. Oh, so you think it's funny the shit the cog does? Burning the world down. No, just don't judge us too quickly by the uniform we wear. All right? Destroy the mules and tanks. I do have the slight suspicion yeah, that we need to evac soon-ish. From a map design perspective, does this here look like an evac zone? This whole thing here I read you. smells like a setup. Be surprised if we need to defend this point. No, oh, Ukon's not gonna like that. Come on, no point in sticking around. Let's head back. Almost as if I would have guessed it. it was just. Oh. It was just too simple. away from high ground although I think the high ground was actually quite beneficial okay well I'll stop over watching Jack moves over here. And everybody else just moves up. I owe you one, Jack. Good. See We're hiding. Jack. And let's wait. If it's just those meaty monsters, the rashes should be fine. Spoken that soon. That's what you get. Won't be getting up from that. That was pure refined. Should not have spoken that you soon. Could rocket into space with those tanks. Or you could power up one hell of a monster. Believe me, we've only scratched the surface with Ukon. That's a value no, kill right. right there. Placing a nice little grenade. Mine rather. Be right there. Jack moves to here. <coughs> and goes fully there invisible. It moves into cover as well. And let's hold the watch. Lookout. And finally our scout. I think we're just going to go with the pistol for now. We got like what, five more turns? Okay, that sounds like a plan. Bring it on, I'm ready. Alright, in turn. Attack. 
Okay, so the one thing that I just learned is they are not all moving into a mine. They will just the first one will trigger. Ready to engage. And then the rest will just ignore it. Scout here. Affirmative. Right, break time. Here, cat. And stay down. Time to kill every last one of them. Dirt and die. Here. Standing by. Headed there now. Moving up. And that's the solid triple. Frag out. Back in your hole. Bit of sidearm action. You are me, asshole. Oh, come on. Okay, yeah. everybody has reloaded. Advancing. And Diaz is leading. Let's just get out of here. Got eyes on the target. Okay, hiding. Later, Jack. And let's get out of here. You've been looking forward to this. Good, moving uh. one. Uh. Moving. Moving two. I like the sprint. Very good ability. All these. Yep. Reporting. Okay, if we play our cards right, this might have been it. Okay, well, I would call that a flawless mission. Well, we didn't find Ukar, but we did put him on notice. It must have taken him weeks to stop all that emotion. I gotta admit, it felt good to mess with that asshole instead of running. Now, I got one more place where we might find him. Ooh, let's see what kind of loot we forgot. I don't know, this was also a really nice combination. I am starting to fall in love with a scout. That's a great class. Convoy upgrade. Yet another reset token. Okay, cool. I don't need to reset yet. Let's open all cases. We got a helmet and a hair trigger. Um, don't know what potential is. But it looks good. Let's first of all, as always, do the loot, and then we're going to take a look at the others. So potential. At the beginning of your turn, unit gets a 40% chance to have a random skill cooldown reduced by two turns. That's actually incredibly good for him. Wait, 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 wait. So his skills are giving other uh, people AP or letting everybody reload. Holy shit. Well, that's really good. Okay, damage reduction versus overwatch shots. Potentially more for someone in the front line. I like what I'm seeing. The potential seems... 
quite valuable on a support. Optics, 5% crit chance. Advanced optics, 20% crit chance. Crit damage, crit chance. Critical hit damage. Oh, and this is just higher chance of critting to begin with. Well, the higher chance of critting, I would guess, is something that you would want on a sniper per se. So let's take a good look at our sniper. She has, yeah, advanced optics, critical hit damage versus 5% crit chance. I think we're just taking the crit chance in making the sniper better. And Sid here gets his first helmet. Okay, as for the sniper itself, 30% crit damage. Great. And another 5% crit chance. So we're, we've basically upgraded the crit chance from 20 to 30% which is 50% increase. I cannot complain about it. The sniper now becomes even deadlier. I would have liked a bit more ammunition, but I suppose you can't have it all. Scout does not get an upgrade and our heavy. Has a bit better passive hair trigger. Very good. So back to our skills. This time we are a bit faster. I think we wanted to go down into the commando route. Um, we also wanted the free cloaking at some point. But this year the proximity mine is what's going to make this so deadly. Uh, it will be another ability to frag. And whenever this unit kills with a shot, uh, kills someone with a shot, reduces uh, the Granite throw ability on top and demolition expert you're not going to become visible and this here was increased cloak duration so essentially all of this here synergizes super well and then this is just the icing on the cake the free cloak however is good as well so let me just take that for now goes into that mining and it's difficult to say if we want faster cooldowns or that extra duration because then you can stay extended in the shadows but i would say for now faster cooldown and down here and i was one so this cloak skill duration is increased by one turn okay cool and this here allows you to freely get it and if i'm not mistaken there was another one Oh yeah, here. Cooldown is reduced by one. I think this plus this plus this equals permanent invisibility, I suppose. Specifically, if you have the demolition expert, uh, you would, however, become visible once you, uh, once you kill someone from the shadows. Unless, of course, you do have this here first time. Uh, this unit kills an enemy with a critical hit or an execution in a turn. This unit gains the hidden status. You can re-stealth. But there was also... Also, this unit kills an enemy with an action initiated while hi whilst hidden. It gets one. Yeah, I think those two here, Commando and Slayer, go nicely together. I think we're going to go with that. I like the idea of the sprint here. But this is, I, I also like uh, the ability, the whole thing about like continuing to be invisible and then uh, becoming invisible again. Sounds like a fun concept. Might not be the strongest skill, but uh, I am bought into it. So today here we would get chain shot, gets an action, gets two actions. And that is important. The only thing that we are missing is reloading cap uh, cap uh, capabilities so we need more reloading capabilities but having an having a shot basically that gives you two actions means with a chain shot once you are in position you can shoot quite often 
and that ultimate shot makes sure that you regain all of your skill points Yeah, this and this together would be nice. Run gun is also good. So let's take this and this and then I do not remember what my idea was the last time. It was not down here. I think it was all of the passive skills so that we don't have uh, too many active skills. And essentially use epiphany. Yeah, that was my idea. Epiphany plus this means every round you're going to get fast fingers and chain shot back. There we go. Very good. So that is, I think, pretty much it. Did I forget anything? No, apparently not. What are our missions? So look at that. For now, there are side missions. So this year is... Can I take both? But uh, can I take both? This here looks great. M maximum one uh, unit support class on a maximum one unit support class unavailable. Okay. Well, that looks like a fun mission. Is it an optional mission though? It has an epic armor, which I would love to get. And in here, rare weapon mod and rare armor. Uh, this here looks great, but I have no idea. It seems maximum squad size one. It's a solo mission. Hmm. I would still like to understand. Maybe I'm missing something. I would still like to understand what are the core mission and missions and what are the optional missions. Apparently, this here is now side mission, so. I can select either Fiery Ghost or Aldair Rescue. And we're potentially going with Aldair Rescue. I'm, I'm not sure if we can do Fiery Ghost. If we can take Fiery Ghost afterwards. We're going to figure that out the next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the Gears Tactics run, now is a good moment in time to leave a comment down below and tell me what your favorite armor is, since I've just seen there is epic armor. There might even be better armor than epic, so uh, leave a comment down below. What is your favorite armor? And don't forget to like the video. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.